Hi folks, Irish Trekkie back in Elite Dangerous um, at Dalton Gateway in Elite Dangerous Beta 1.1. Um, I'm just going to do a few ship profiles because I have the ability to do that now <coughs> rather than waiting to accrue money in the normal game. Um, there's a lot of ships available for 100 credits and you know we can get access to the ships as well. But this time I am in the Python which I've been looking forward to for a while. You can see the little icon just down there in my uh, dash layout. Now a bit of background um, that you'll find on the sales page for the Python just to kind of go through it with you guys. It basically reads Python another classic design that has survived the centuries. The first vessel was constructed in 2700 by Watt and Prittany ships. Ship constructions even. With the demise of the company and after various mergers and takeovers, the ship design is now owned by Falcon de Lacy. So you'll see that uh, emblem from time to time. The ship remains a slow and sturdy craft. It was originally famous for and some uh, for and some smaller navies still use this class as patrol cruisers. Okay, so it's a big ship for what I'm used to, but it's still a small ship in galactic terms. Uh, although tiny compared to an Imperial interdictors and federal battle cruisers, the ship is still widely used for patrol um, in that form. Now, this is a pretty expensive ship normally, um, but the cockpit is pretty lush. Uh, we can see, if I can just pop back in here into normal, um, the Falcon de Lacy moniker straight away there pretty cool and uh, we have nice venting on either side so we're gonna be cool and collect us while in the depths of battle here um, I've been contributing a little to this um, as you go up in the tiers it's really cool um, I've basically collected uh, almost a thousand tons so I've been kind of working a bit on it um, but I'm in the top five so I'll get 24 if nothing changes I'll get 24 but I still have to keep up um, to maintain my level here. Um, but there's eight tiers, so the rewards I think will be pretty cool on that. But ah, I'm getting sidetracked. It's quite a decent view range here. This is a twin seater. And you can see the bridge layout is pretty big back here. We have a lot of consoles in the back. That looks like an engineering section back there. Um, we have little strips of bacon on the wall, just like on the Viper. And uh, that's a comfy looking seat. And another direct panel. That looks like a duplicate of what I have over here. So that could be like a co-pilot, definitely. Um, you notice the kind of front layout on the Cobra is slightly different in the console area. But a pretty cool, kind of nice overhead view here as well. We'll take it for a spin in a moment, don't you worry. Um, kind of looks like a little kind of cubby hole section back there. Love to be able to kind of peek around a little bit more. Um, I don't see that kind of communication keyboard. Push to open. Okay, that's where I can keep my iPhone. That's good. Falcon de Lacy on the center console over here. Caution step. Pretty cool. Well, let's just take this baby for a spin. Now, cargo out of the bat 82. And we just have two pulse lasers. Nothing crazy here. But we have pretty good modules. Let's take her for a spin. Let's see what she sounds like. I'll bring her back in just to show you the outside. I just forgot to do that. Ship released. Engines engaged. Audio is pretty nice. She's pretty responsive. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Roadhog. kind of off-center here, so... Come on. Let's just see what she gets up to. Now her basic jump range, let's see. 8.58 light years. Nothing crazy. So she's cruising on 170. Boost to 250. I suppose not too bad. I can just see her nose there. I 
kind of has a similar sound. It's like a cross between kind of like a Lacon Type 9 and a Viper. You can definitely see the kind of design, maybe enhancements in comparison to the Viper that we have. She's pretty maneuverable, I must admit. Come on. Stick with me. Our lovely station here. Okay, let's put the power to engines. I'd love to get third person just flying behind this, just give it a kind of once over. I love the shadows, I love the dynamic lighting here. We better look where I'm going. Definitely. Now I will do a follow up video fitting these out for kind of combat I think. I'm just kind of evolving the idea here. I'm not 100% sure still. Hello Dalton. Yeah, she's pretty fast. I just want to hit Anthony in the station here. Will we fit through? Will we Actually, I'm kind of guessing myself here. Will we fit through? Woo! Nice spin around. Come on. Yeah, she's pretty maneuverable. I must, I'll give her that for the size of the ship. And I'm sure that she could spec her out fairly decent. Scrape the paint. She's only a loner. Big shadow of the ship up there. Awesome. So let's just request docking. These are just kind of a little bit of a profile of the ships themselves. A bit of a cockpit interior and so on. I'll see if I can do a kind of proper combat video as I say later on. Okay. Do, 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 do. Well, the beta has been proven pretty good. You know, I like the group goals. Um, I don't think I mentioned that uh, you get tagged for first discovering planetary bodies here. Ah, oh, come on, Eagle. Roadhog. Seven. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I like that audio. And um, oh, one thing I'll show you as well um, is some of the. Uh, decals that you can get. Well, not some of them, but just one that I've earned. So there's going to be more decals rather than just the kind of mercenary skulls. So you get payoffs for being elite. She lands pretty nice. So let's go back to outfit team. Dalton, gateway. Outfitting. Down we go. Well, for a big ship, I think she handles pretty nice, and I think she'd be pretty okay in a dogfight as well. I'd like to see her now against like an anaconda or something. Just see how she'd fare. Whee! Oh, there we go. So, we have two large hard points. Three large hard points, actually. Pretty awesome. Oh, look, there's a stairway. Just to show you some scale. I'd love to walk around these ships. So, three large hard points, two medium. So we have five fairly decent, and we have four utility points as well. Two ventral, two dorsal. Pretty cool. I think she's a nice looking ship. Look at those thrusters, ports on the side just spinning. Pretty cool. I like the, def I like the default paint job as well. Something very military about it. Um, Cargo, 32, 32. A lot of empty slots there, and they're size 5 and 4. You be pretty much and three. You'd be pretty able to kind of kit this out for um, cargo as well if you'd like. Nice little python emblem down there as well. She's got a lot of junk in the trunk by the looks of it there. I love how the details you can see into the cockpit. Look how big that ship is. I felt big inside but it looks freaking massive there. Um, decals. What I want to show you here is, look, at the moment there I'm mostly penniless, obviously just starting here. So that's probably going to, you know, 
grow or change as you go up the ranks of uh, combat exploration and um, and uh, combat exploration and trade. So you might have kind of three of each, not three of each, but three individual ones or three of the same, whatever you'd like yourself. Um, you can see where the others go. Pretty nice. So let's just kit these out. Let's just have a look at them. Mostly penniless. I don't want to really be advertising that. Maybe I do to put off the pirates. You never know. So I can see the first one. Where did the other ones go? Oh, they're just on the aft. You can kind of just see them out there. But um, yeah, Ooh, look at the power. She's actually up to 20 uh, megawatts there, which is pretty decent. You'll be able to kind of get this out fairly awesome. But yeah, that's the Python, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for maybe a combat video off this. I'll see how I go. It's very, quite expensive to fit these guys out, but we play it by ear. But thanks for watching. Uh, leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe um, not to miss out on up and coming videos featuring some more of the ships from Elite Dangerous. Take it easy. Bye bye.